We all know that the various police forces across the UK are the paramilitary wing of the British establishment. They are the ones who swing into action when the endless propaganda pumped out by the BBC and our rabid right-wing press just somehow fails to do the job. And just like the poll tax and Iraq war protests, once again, we are refusing to behave as our masters want. We keep insisting on marching in support of the Palestinians, no matter how many times they tell us that Israelis are killed or murdered, whereas Palestinians just somehow mysteriously die for some unknown reason. We're also hearing about 200 people, according to the Palestinian authorities, um, have died overnight in Gaza. And that while Israelis have children, Palestinians have offspring called anything but children. Now, during this time period, we're expecting to have batches of Palestinian prisoners held in Israeli jails. Uh, they are uh, women and also uh, teenage males, according to a list that's been put out of some 300 names. For some reason, the British public just refused to accept the ongoing slaughter of the Palestinians and refused to accept that their deaths somehow don't matter. So, enter the cops to police our completely unreasonable insistence on objecting to genocide. And I'm afraid the result is pretty much the disaster you'd expect. The Metropolitan Police decided to distribute a leaflet specifying what is and is not allowed our marches against the mass slaughter of children. Possibly, this is as much a guide for their officers as members of the public. Although, as things turned out, asking arbitrary members of the public might have been better than some of the judgment calls that officers made on the day. For example, we have this. Two women were pulled over by officers and asked to translate their banners. But without an independent interpreter on the ground, police asked the women to wait. This is an example of the difficult balancing act police have, allowing free speech, but not allowing anything that incites hatred or promotes terrorism. After several minutes of confusion, they arrested them. The Muslim Association of Britain commented, Met Police UK, this is absolutely appalling. Your officers had no idea what those signs meant, yet decided to arrest the women simply because they held up Arabic placards. In the midst of Islamophobia Awareness Month, your officers showed plenty of Islamophobia with very little awareness. We trust you will be investigating and providing much needed Islamophobia training to your officers. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure signs written in a language our officers don't understand wasn't on the Metropolitan Cops prescribed list. Then we have this. An NHS surgeon arrested at the pro-Palestinian demo in London for displaying a pamphlet denouncing Zionism. Arguments over Zionism have existed within and out with the Jewish community for decades. I'm sorry, but Metropolitan Police officers are just not qualified to say who can say what on this issue. UK police arrest British doctor Ranji Brar for criticising Zionism. The British police are participating in the suppression of the freedom of expression as Britons march in solidarity with Palestine over the Israeli aggression. So much for the Metropolitan Police. But something even more sinister seems to be happening under the auspices of Police Scotland. Mick Napier is a well-known pro-Palestinian campaigner who has arranged marches over the last few consecutive Saturdays in support for ceasefire and peace in Gaza. These marches have drawn numbers comparable with any ever held in Glasgow, ranging from the Scottish independence marches, the anti-Iraq war marches and the anti-poll tax marches. Just listen to his story. Today is Saturday the 25th of November. On Thursday night while I was out, a neighbour reported a police car parked outside the house. 
Um, and when I got back, much later, they had gone, but there was a note asking me to get in touch. I was uh, arrested and charged at Govan Police Station yesterday, Friday, with uh, participating in an illegal demonstration. In order to make the case that the demonstration was illegal, the chief police officer in Gla at Glasgow Green last Saturday, Saturday the 18th, is telling lies that he uh, told us the demonstration was banned. He didn't. He said no such thing. He merely told us that uh, if we continued, we might be liable to prosecution under some section at some time in the future. Um, so the case will unravel in court. Uh, whenever it does come to court, if it comes to court, quite often these things don't. They're merely a means of harassing people, trying to oppose uh, terrible Israeli crimes. Shocking. Arrested for arranging marches for Glaswegians who want to protest for peace, for a ceasefire and to an end to the killing. Please Scotland, hang your head in shame. The British establishment is not happy with our collective response to what Israel is doing to Gaza. And that same British establishment expects police forces across the UK to bully us into towing the official line as spelled out by both major political parties. They want us to just sit down and shut up while Israel commits genocide against the Palestinian people. If this conflict continues much longer, we can expect these same police forces to become ever more heavy-handed, ever more cack-handed in their efforts to silence us. But they would succeed. Please support left-wing voices on social media by liking this video and subscribing to the channel.